right guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get all the latest workouts. Hey everyone, this is Jada Kelly and we are in today for a full body HIIT workout, 45 minutes long. All you need is a set of dumbbells. You can go light, you can go heavy, whatever is going to challenge your body and that's it. So here we go. Um, I got my dumbbells right here and just gonna go ahead and get started in our warm up. Take a deep breath right here and exhale, one more. Exhale. All right, now do, th do that deep squat. We're gonna add a pull down, bring those elbows down towards your rib cage. One more time, in and up. Pull down, good, we got two more of these. See if you can get a little bit more movement each time you drop down into that squat. And down, let's get one more because it feels so good. And inhale, exhale. Awesome. From here, pull those elbows down to the rib cage. We're going to reach over, over, keep going. Awesome. Get that nice lean. Feel that stretch down the side of the body. We got a couple more here. And one more each side. Awesome. Let's go back to that squat. We're going to add a knee up, pull it up. Make sure you're pulling your knee up instead of leaning in to make you think that the knee's going up. So keep that back straight, chest up. I'm just putting my hands right in front of me. Sink a little deeper each time into that squat. Now let's add a twist over the knee, get that rotation. So knee still comes up nice and high and then rotate that body. Good, keep going. Three, give me a couple more, two. All right, last one each side and finish, awesome. All right, so next arm move. Arms are gonna go forward, reach back all the way. Excellent, reach for whatever's in back of you. Eye line goes towards the back. Try to pretend you're almost about to reach whatever's in back of you. For me, it's these gorgeous plants. So I'm reaching all the way, feeling that extension. Last one. All right, let's head back to our squats, but add a knee circle, opening up that hip. Awesome, couple more. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Set that nice, steady, rhythmic breath right now. A couple more. And last one, awesome. Bring your feet together, drop down, arms go down. When you come up, lunge. Good. So you're doing a tiny squat and then a lunge back, alternating those legs. A couple more. Starting to feel warm. Two more. Last one. And last part of our warm up, let's rotate. Feet are about shoulder width apart. We're going all the way up, twisting, reaching to the sky, switching directions, dropping down. Hand touches the floor if possible. Right there, bending through the knees. Using that whole body. Let's get one more. Awesome, turn all the way. Other direction. Nice job, make sure you're reaching and twisting right there. Last one. All right, just ending this one with some shoulder rolls, backwards and forwards. And now we are ready 
to get into this workout. So we are doing five moves, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds transition. Pick up those dumbbells for the first move and I'll show you right here. All right, curtsy lunge, right foot forward. I'm sorry, my right, your left. Lunge back, bring your dumbbells to your shoulders and then press to the sky. Nice curtsy lunge, keeping the back nice and straight. Chest is up. Curtsy lunge, twist and press. Nice. Extend those elbows all the way up or all the way as you reach toward the sky with those dumbbells. 10 seconds, guys. Get a little lower in that curtsy lunge. We got five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hold on to those weights. We're going into a reverse lunge with a front press. So dumbbells start at your shoulders. Left leg goes back first. Punch forward with the dumbbells. And then as you stand, bring them back to your shoulders. Great job. Keep that back nice and straight. Now, we're trying to keep the dumbbells at shoulder level as we press out. You're gonna feel that burn. I feel it already starting in the shoulders and you may feel it in your biceps as well. Of course, we're working the legs. Remember to bend. We want 90 degree knee bends at the lowest point in the lunge. We got nine seconds, guys. Keep going. Good. In three, two, one, awesome. All right, we're going back into that curtsy lunge move, but now on the other side. So your right foot's forward, and then we're gonna curtsy lunge back in three, two, one. Here we go, reach that back foot to the back diagonal. Press and twist, excellent. Keep that back nice and straight. And I like to squeeze my butt cheek right there in the back when I'm doing that twist. Keep it nice and tight. See if you can get a little deeper in that curtsy. Good. We got 10 seconds. Get a couple more reps. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and we're done with that. I'm putting my weights out of the way this next move. Just a little bit of cardio, so we're gonna shuffle down the board, shuffle back. Ready, here we go. One, two, one, two. So if you wanna add a little more, you can reach to the floor, or you can just get those arms moving. It's up to you, little shuffle back and forth. I'm keeping that bend in my knee. If you want to stand up a little more like this, it takes a little bit of pressure off your legs. But if you're like, no, I like that burn, then get low again. Moving back and forth. Keep going. We got 20 seconds. And the goal is to feel that heart rate go up just a little bit. There we go. 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's take it down. We're gonna do a core move. So I'm gonna start in a plank. We're gonna walk the hands up, up, back, back, and then feet out, out, in, in. Ready, set, and go. Up, up, back, back, out, out, in, in. Keep going. Keep that back. Nice and long, keep the butt tucked under so we don't want to see any butts in the air. If this is too much for you, then you can always take it down to your knees and then just move the hands up, up, back, back, out, out, in, in. So that movement that you would have done with your feet, you're just doing with your hands. Keep it going, we got 10 seconds. Almost there. Last five. Three, 
two, one, whoo, that felt good. Okay, so you got 30 seconds right now to just breathe, appreciate your movement because we're going into set number two after this. All right, first move for set number two while you're breathing and resting, I'm gonna show you. Lateral lunge out with your left leg and then lateral raise up to center. We got five seconds, shake it off, grab your dumbbells, get ready, three, two, and let's go. Nice job. So with that lateral lunge, I want your toes forward, drop your butt to the back, bend that outside knee, so that'd be your left leg bending. Get as low as you can, sit into that lunge, then bring those dumbbells all the way up to shoulder level. There we go. So it's not about speed, it's really about doing the movement correctly. So listen for those, verbal, those, those cues that I'm giving you so that you can make sure you're doing the exercise right. We got three seconds, two, and one. Awesome. Next move, we're doing a deadlift to bend over fly to an upright row. So I'm going to show you from the diagonal. Feet are about hip width apart. You ready? Here we go. Bring it down, hip sink back. Fly out, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stand up and then bring the dumbbells up to shoulder level. So back, hips back, fly. Squeeze those glutes, upright row. Let's keep going, find your rhythm. I'm feeling the weight in my heels, in the back of my foot, so you should be feeling that too. And the way you can check yourself is if you can wiggle your toes. So if you can wiggle your toes, that's a good sign that shows that your weight is evenly balanced or pressed more towards the back of your foot. We got five seconds, guys. Come on, squeeze right there. And three, two, one. Awesome. So going back into that lateral lunge move, this time we're heading toward the right. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Lateral lunge, lateral raise. Excellent job. I want to see those dumbbells come all the way up to shoulder level. I want to see you standing up nice and tall with that lateral raise, sinking low with that lateral lunge. Toes are forward the whole time. Nice job. Sinking a little bit lower. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so we don't need our weights for the next move, so you're just gonna move them to the side. I'm gonna show you this from the side. Ready, set, here we're gonna do it together. Sink down and do a squat, walk up, jump. Walk back, jump. So we're gonna keep this pattern. Stay low when you're walking, up high when you jump. Now, if you're like, Jada, I'm not jumping today, that's fine, go up on your toes, sink back down, walk forward, toes, sink back down, walk back. So you can do a combination of the jumps and getting up on your toes if you need to. Remember, it's just important that you keep moving, that's what you're trying to do. Get a little better every day. Come on, we got 12 seconds. In three, two, one. Great job, all right. Taking it down to the floor for our core move. I'm gonna take it down to my back. Doing lying leg raises. Lay down. There we go, feet are up. Flex the foot. Drop your legs down slow. And then bring them back up. You might be like, Jada, how do you know how low your feet should go? Well, you wanna keep your lower back on the floor. So if you feel like your lower back is coming up off the floor, then you know you probably dropped your feet too far. So this is about where I need to stop 
and then I can come up. The goal is just to put tension in, on your core. So if you're doing that, if you're hitting those abs, then just go at your own level. It doesn't matter if your feet are reaching the floor or not. Come on, let's keep working. Last five. Three, two, yes. All right, guys, you got 30 seconds again. We're going into our first fire round. So our fire rounds are all about cardio. They're a minute and a half cardio bursts. Three moves, 30 seconds each, back to back to back. So our first move is gonna be a twist lunge, jump center. Twist lunge, jump center. We're gonna start in five seconds. Make sure you listen for when I say switch and I'll show you the next move. Ready, set, go. 30 seconds, twist lunge, jump. Now, once again, if you're not jumping, just take it up onto those toes. There you go, right there in the center. You decide if you need the jump today or not. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Next move, high knee run. Simple, but hard to maintain for a long period of time. So let's do it. Get those knees up as high as you can. If you're not running, if it's too much, then you can take it to a knee pull. I just want you to keep moving. Remember, you keep doing your best. Eight seconds, guys. Almost there. Three, two, pull down skaters. Use those arms. So I'm leaping side to side. If you're just walking through it, it looks like this. You don't have to jump, but you can. If you want to, if you want to give that little extra. There we go, 10 seconds. Feel that heart rate going up. Last seven, six, five, four, we're almost there. Three, two, woo! Great job, you made it through the first section. Now we're going back into our strength moves. In about 20 seconds, the first move I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start with my hands up together. No weights on this one. Curtsy lunge back, left leg forward, right knee comes up. So this is really gonna get into that glute and challenge your balance. Ready, we got three, two, left leg forward, right leg curtsies back, knee up, there we go. Really push into the heel of that left foot. Nice job. Woo, don't lose your balance. <laughs> Can you get a little deeper in that curtsy lunge? Can you bring that knee up just a little bit more in the middle? We got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Grab your dumbbells for this next move. It's a bicep curl into a power press. So there's gonna be a little bit of explosivity <laughs> to this move, so have fun with it. Ready, curl, press up, back down, curl, so you can see I'm doing a little hop and pressing up at the same time. If you're trying this out and you're like, David, I don't know, that hop feels funny. <laughs> then you can just curl, press up. You don't have to leave the floor, but you do need to powerfully press those dumbbells up to the sky. Good. We got 15 seconds. Let's do it. All the way up. 10 seconds. Something about this move, I just like it. Three, two, one, awesome. All right, drop those weights. We're going back into that curtsy lunge, chop knee up. This time your right leg's forward, your left leg curtsies back. Ready, arm set, let's go. Chop, knee up. So you're going back to the diagonal. 
and that knee comes to the center. Really using your core with this one to stay balanced. Good, get nice and deep in that curtsy lunge. The deeper you get in that curtsy lunge, the harder that front leg has to work. The more you can engage your glute and that thigh, hamstring in particular. Come on. Keep going. Chop it down. Oop, don't lose your balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're going into our cardio move. We're gonna take it lateral step um, two times for shuffles. So sink down, ready, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Come on. Good job. One, two, three, four. Let me see those shuffles. So I'm on a board, but if you're not, and you can make these shuffles bigger because you're, you know, you're not gonna fall off your space, then make them bigger. Go for it. There's no reason for these to be super small. We got 12 seconds. Good job, come on. Four, three, two, one, yes. All right, this last move is definitely a challenge. We start in a plank. We're gonna bring our knees in underneath our hips, walk them back out, and then finish the burpee. Ready, set, go. Plank, bring the knees under the hips, walk it back out, finish the burpee. So I like to kind of jump wide on my burpee. Feels better on my back. So you can bring your feet wide right here. So you go to a wide squat. Or if you like coming in closer, that's fine too. Just gotta do what feels good for your body. Ooh, feeling it in my core, feeling it in my legs. We got 13 seconds. Good job, guys. Five, four, three, two, yes. Great job. So we're in that break, but I want you to grab your dumbbells because we're starting into our fourth set. Get nice and wide, keep breathing, and here is the move. We're going in a lateral lunge, reach for the toe with the dumbbell, come back up, and put that dumbbell back on your shoulder. Lateral lunge, up. So our feet are staying planted. We're kind of gliding side to side. It's nice and smooth. Reach that dumbbell down towards your foot. Drop low with that butt as you bend the outside knee. Good, keep going. Reach. This is our lateral lunge. Reach and pull, yep. Come on, go all the way, 10 seconds. Great job. Last four, three, two, one, excellent. All right, next move. We're going into a bent over row and then a bent over wide row. All right, hips go toward the back, weight in the heels, elbows up, here's our row. Stand, come back down, wide row. So on the first one, elbows go back in towards your body. Second one, elbows are out to the sides of your body. You're pressing your chest out each time. You bring those elbows back. Good, and you're squeezing your shoulder blades together to get the most out of that move. Excellent. Squeeze those glutes as you stand up. Why not get that little extra glute work? We got six seconds, great job. Yes, nice job. Okay, so we're gonna drop one dumbbell. We're gonna hold this one as a goblet. We're gonna do alternating transverse squats. So we go back to the diagonal, squat, come to center. 
back to the diagonal squat come to center so you're just opening up to the diagonal and dropping down holding that weight right in the middle excellent I'm going pretty wide in the squat my toes are out to the diagonal as well so you can go wide my back is pretty straight chest is lifted I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone going a little bit deeper each time pushing through my heels as I come up feeling my glutes doing the work feeling my inner thighs turning on we got three two one awesome drop that weight going into a little bit of a cardio move I'm going to show you from the side ready we lunge back knee up hop switch lunge back knee up hop there you go so there's like there's a little bit of a skip to it lunge back knee up hop lunge back knee up hop switch legs now if you're not jumping lunge back knee up switch lunge back knee up switch and then just move consistently to get that heart rate up come on we got 14 seconds left great job we got five three two one great job you guys all right so taking it down to the floor we have our core move going into a hollow hold so you're pretty much making your body like a banana hold it there for a second knee in back out knee in back out hold knee in and back out good so keep that contraction with that core if it's too much to have your feet off the ground you can bring them down knee in v-sit knee in v-sit there we go so you decide where you want to go with this one I'm gonna go back to that first move Whew, it's a challenge though I love it keeping my balance come on we got five seconds three two one you are amazing you guys we're going into that second fire round ending this segment all we have is one more segment after this so our first move for the fire round this time is three step one two three one two three and you just get faster in order to make you work a little bit harder all right listen for those moves because every 30 seconds we're gonna switch in three two and one three step come on knees up one two three one two three now if this run is too much you can march it wait one two three one two three so you decide oh I think I <laughs> there we go <laughs> one two three one two three one two three come on three two one next move two knees pop squat one two down up one two down up one two down up come on now if you're not jumping knee knee just step out to the side step out to the other side knee knee step step yes that's your option we got three seconds get that last one yes pick up your weights this one alternating press with a jack come on keep those jacks going if you need to walk it out it's totally fine but you got to keep moving 10 seconds come on let's go five four three two Woo. that felt good 30 seconds you guys we're going into segment three this is our final segment two strength rounds one fire moves that you haven't seen before let me get my hair 
off of me. There we go. All right, grab your dumbbells. <clears throat> I'm really liking this curtsy lunge today, so we're seeing it a lot. Don't worry, it's different every time. So start nice and wide. Dumbbells are together. Here we go, squat down. Bring the dumbbells up overhead, and then leave your left leg forward, curtsy lunge back with your right. Start over, down, up overhead. Feel that core, whoo, feels good. And up. Make sure you're lifting those dumbbells overhead as opposed to swinging them up. I want you to work that shoulder. Down, up, and curtsy. You got it. Down, up, and curtsy back. Keep that back nice and straight, chest up. Are you breathing? I hope so. Come on, keep going, five seconds. We can do this together. Three, two, whoo. All right, next move. This might be my favorite move of the day. So it's a squat, clean, dumbbell swing. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Here we go together. I'm gonna squat down, you squat down too. Bring the dumbbells up to your shoulder. Swing your hips back, forward. Squat, clean, swing. There we go, squat, clean, swing. So knees bend and then hips. Knees bend and then hips. Come on, we got 30 seconds left with this one. Awesome move for that lower body. Drop low in that squat as low as you can. We got 13 seconds, we can get a couple more. Squat, clean, swing, come on. Three, two, one. Whew, nice job, guys. We're going back to that sumo squat curtsy lunge. This time your right leg is gonna be forward, left leg will curtsy lunge back. Start with that sumo squat, ready, set, here we go. Up first, plant the feet, curtsy, back to the sumo. Down, up, curtsy, excellent. Remember, we're not swinging those arms, we're placing them where they need to go. And up, good job. Down, and up, yes, come on. We got 18 seconds. Can you get deeper in that sumo squat? Maybe you can get deeper in the curtsy lunge. I just want you going for it, trying your best. We got five seconds, come on. Three, two, one, yes. All right, this next move takes a little getting used to, but I think you guys can do it, that's why I added it in. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Bring one arm up, it's a leaning lunge, windmill. Come back up to stand, switch through. Other side, eyes on the dumbbell, dumbbell to the sky. Come back up and switch. When I lean, I bend through my hips a little bit more than I bend through my knees. I'm pushing my hips out toward the diagonal, bringing them back to center. Take your time with this one. Like I said, it's a little tricky. But you guys are pros, you can do this. Excellent, we got seven seconds. All the way down. There we go, nice job. All right, so we are gonna end on the floor, no dumbbells, starting to plank. Ready, set, and here we go. Walk one foot up toward the front hand. Hit that lunge, walk it back, plank, and then push up. Other side. Now I'm really using this lunge as an opportunity to stretch. It's not like a total break, but it does help. And you can use it to lengthen those muscles in those legs. If you need to, take that push up down towards your knees, that's fine. We got 15 seconds. I'm gonna do that again, that felt good. If 
five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you guys. We have, I'm sweating like crazy. We have one more strength set and then our last fire. So this first strength set, I'm sorry, this first move is gonna be no weights. We don't need them. Believe me, it'll start burning. I'm gonna keep my left leg forward, right leg lunges back. I'm gonna kick forward. Oh, it's kinda hard to do it slow. Kick forward, back into the lunge, knee up. Ready, set, and here we go. Lunge back, kick, lunge back, knee up. When I come, when I bring that knee up, I tuck my butt cheek under. Same thing when I kick. So your left leg is gonna light on fire. That's the goal. One kick, one knee. Now if you're like, Jada, I got this, then you know what? You can add weights to make it more challenging. That is fine with me. Because it's all about, not about what I can do, it's about what you can do to bring out your best. Come on, three, two, whoo, nice job. All right, grab those dumbbells. Get nice and wide, palms up, here we go. So we're gonna squat down as we come up, arms open. Back to center, squat down. As we come up, arms open. Keep the palms up. The more you bend your elbows, the, the less tension you're gonna feel on your shoulders. So if this is really stressing your shoulders, then do the move right here. And that's fine, because we don't wanna hurt ourselves, right? We just wanna challenge our abilities. If you can extend your arms a little more, then do that. We got 15 seconds. This one feels so good. It's hard, but it feels really good. <laughs> Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, next move, what are we doing? Back to that reverse lunge. Right foot forward, left foot lunges back. Ready? Let's go. Lunge kick, lunge knee. Tuck that butt under. When you kick and when you bring up the knee. Good, back is nice and straight, chest is up. Almost there. Come on. Almost there. Eight seconds. Five. Get a little deeper. Last couple. Three, two. Yes. Nice job, guys. Grab those weights. Going into lateral lunges with a curl press in the center. Ready, set, I'm gonna step out to my left first. Curl press, low, curl press. Get nice and wide, drop that butt back on that lateral lunge. Once again, toes are forward. Great job. Keep going, it's about continuing to move. So if you're like, Jada, I'm feeling, I'm tired then you know what, that's okay. Slow down a little bit, but don't quit. Maybe you need a break, take one, but come back. Come on, 14 seconds, you can do it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, yes, nice job. We have one more move left. One more, can you believe it? So what we're gonna do is a bent over fly. Here we go, hips, oh, hips, bending at the hips, push your butt back. Here we go. Fly out like you have wings. We're gonna do three and then stand. Yes, so we go one, push the chest out, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Excellent. Three, two, one, 
stand. Excellent job. Steady your breathing right now because we're going into a fire round next and you're gonna need that energy. So get that oxygen flowing through your blood right now. Good, nine seconds. Good, last one, let's do it. Three, two, one. Yes, all right. Put those dumbbells, actually grab one. Put it right in the middle of your space because this is actually gonna serve as a marker for you. So the first one, we're gonna hop up, back, over. This is our first fire round. First move for the fire round. And then listen, because I'll show you the next ones, but keep that dumbbell there, because we're gonna use it. Ready, set, go. Hop forward, back, over. Yes. Forward, back, over. Forward, back, over. There we go. Come on. Forward, back, over. 10 seconds. You can also step this. Yes, three, two, one. All right, turn and face your dumbbell and tap it. Taps on the dumbbell, let's go. Maybe you can go a little faster. Good, chest is up. Feet are tapping very lightly on the dumbbell. You're not trying to kick it, you're not trying to stomp on it. Think up. Come on, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Get that dumbbell out of the way. We have one skater, two push jacks. One, two, one, two. If you're not jumping, tap out. Over, tap, tap. Over, tap, tap. If you are jumping, come on. Let's do it. We got four seconds. Three, two, one. You're amazing. You just finished our 40, 45 minute hit workout. We still gotta do the cool down. So don't go anywhere, but the hard part is done. So pat yourself on the back really quick. <laughs> All right, so let's take a nice deep breath right here, going into cool down. Exhale. One more, deep breath. Exhale. All right, let's go ahead, take this down toward the floor. I'm gonna go into all fours. This is a cool down that I like to use personally. Around my back, drop the head. Bring the head up, drop the belly. One more time. Steady your breathing. One more. Round that back. Drop the belly, bring the head up. Excellent. Take it back to a plank, into a down dog. Press the heels toward the floor. If you wanna pedal those feet, nice and slow. Lift the hips toward the sky. Press the palms into the ground. Feel that calf stretch. Now press both heels toward the mat. Walk. One foot up to the front hand. Let those hips sink in. Now what I'm gonna do is take the hand that's closest to the, the leg that just came up and I'm gonna lift it towards the sky. I'm gonna look at my fingertips, twist my body. Keep your foot flat on the floor. Feel the stretch through the outside of that thigh and into the glute. Bring your hand back down. Back to the plank and into down dog. Other foot steps up towards the front hand. Lift the hand closest to the foot, to the sky. Look toward the fingertips. Bring it back down and back into that plank. Drop the knees. Push yourself back onto your feet, round up. And then I'm just gonna do a shoulder stretch right here. 
Make sure you push your shoulder girdle down and then bring your arm across. If there's any pinching into that shoulder with an extended arm, try bending it. Sometimes that can take that pinching away. Open up, other side. One more deep breath. And you did it, that was amazing work you guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jada and you have an amazing rest of your day. See you at the next workout. We really hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like it. And we love your comments telling us what you loved about the workout. Thank you so much. If you would like uninterrupted workouts, if you would like to search by trainer, you can go to our website, jimmer.com, and you can filter it. You can choose different exercises. You can choose your trainers. It's awesome. Furthermore, you can also go to Shop Jimra for completely uninterrupted videos. And also we have some gear on there that you might be interested in. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate having you with us at Jimra. I'm Alice Maples and I'll see you next time.